One of the most common questions I get asked from business owners is, Helena, am I too late to the party? There are so many things that you can do with AI and automations, and it's just overwhelming, and I just don't know where to get started. So if this is you, then this video is going to be for you because I break down the three stages of AI and automations implementation, and I'm going to show you a 10,000 feet view of what you could do and how you should think about AI and automations from a strategic point of view. And I think having the strategic view will help you not get lost in the nitty gritty of should I use Claude or ChatGPT. And also I'm going to give you my 100 million AI implementation strategy plan. So you definitely want to make sure you stick around. All right, so let's dive into it. So. I used to work one summer in a real estate construction firm and they were in the middle of implementing SAP. And the way that they were able to implement SAP is they divided it into three stages, the crawl stage, then the walk stage, and then the run stage. And I kind of think of implementing AI and automations in the same way. You don't want to eat a whole elephant in one bite. It's about chewing one bite at a time, doing one thing at a time so that you and your whole team can get accustomed to AI and automations. And there's also a concept from Toyota, and they have this concept called Kaizen, which means continuous improvement. So you want to make small changes gradually and constantly so that your team gets used to AI. Now, the first stage of implementing AI and automations into your business is what I like to call the crawl stage. Now, in the crawl stage of implementing AI and automations into your business, you're just getting your team accustomed to prompt engineering. You're getting them used to the idea of using AI to write content. So during this stage, it's a good idea to make an inventory of all of the content that you're currently creating manually. So this could be blog posts, social media posts, RFPs, if you're in the B2B space, etc. And after you have an inventory of all of the content that you're writing manually, then you can actually train custom GPTs to write all of this content for you in the style, tone, and structure that you want. So to create a custom GPT, it's very simple and you can probably knock this out in less than 30 minutes. You just need to give this GPT a name, something like blog GPT, and then a short description to remind you what this GPT does. In the instructions section, this is where you would put in your prompt. You can also add some conversation starters. And then in the knowledge section, this is where you can add in additional knowledge that you want this GPT to know, as well as writing samples as well. So you probably want to give it anywhere from three to six different writing samples if you're using a GPT to generate content for your business. Here is an example of a LinkedIn GPT that I have created. You can see here I put in all of the prompt here as well as the conversation starters. The conversation starters are just these four different tabs that you can see here that I can just press on and then GPT just goes to work. So it even saves me time from writing the uh, prompt for it. It. And then lastly, in the knowledge section, this is where I was able to upload some examples of LinkedIn posts that I like. So you can probably start creating these GPTs in less than 30 minutes and you want to create a custom GPT for every type of content that you have in your business. And the best part is you can share these custom GPTs with everyone on your team. And in a very short period of time, your whole team has these custom GPTs that write in your brand's tone, voice, and style. This is a huge win for your team. And as your team members see the productivity and time saving that AI tools can bring to their job, they will be more on board for future AI and automation initiatives that you want to bring on. So once your team gets used to having generative AI tools like custom GPTs to help them in their daily jobs with writing content, the second stage would be the walk stage. And in the walk stage, this is where you will start to ai -ify your entire business. This involves looking at all of your processes across all of the different departments and taking inventory of what could be automated with AI. For example, if you have a front reception, a receptionist, maybe it's also time to incorporate a virtual receptionist to help out customers 24-7, 365 when the human receptionist isn't nearby. You could also implement AI chatbots across all of your social media channels that's able to 
capture lead information and book appointments 24 7 365 and you can also get a free trial to chat lemon which is my ai chatbot software below as well you could also start to automate a lot of the content that you're creating and that's looking at what software tools are you currently using what apis are there and how do you streamline and automate the process for example let's go back to our blog post example you could could get AI to write the blog post and then you could connect it to the WordPress API that will allow you to automatically post this blog post onto your blog and I actually have a YouTube video that shows you exactly how to do that I'll link it somewhere up here another AI automation that you could implement quite quickly is to create an AI caller that calls up your clients and remind them of their upcoming appointments with you so those are just some ideas of how you can incorporate AI and automate into your business. But again, this specific list is so specific to every single business. It's a great idea to look at what your current sales and marketing process looks like. What are all of the tasks that are currently being done and how are they being done? And then taking a look at what you could start to automate. It's also great to take inventory of all of the software that you're using and the APIs available. So you kind of match the processes with the technology and seeing where you can automate. So once you have your business dialed in, you automated what you could, you have a team of AI agents going to work for you every day. Now we're getting to the next stage. And this is a concept that I learned from Mike Kunick. And he said that you could license or franchise the model that you have working to other similar businesses that are your competitors. Let me give you an example of this. So let's suppose that we are dealing with a traditional car dealership. This car dealership, if they ever want to sell, they can probably sell for two two to three X multiple because they are one time sales. So the car dealership only makes money once whenever they sell a car, there's no recurring payment. So technically one month, this car dealership can sell 1000 cars and the next month they could sell zero. Now this is risky for investors and that's why they would only probably pay two to three X multiple for a car dealership. So now how do we 10 X the value of this car dealership with AI and automations? And this is what we're going to do in the third stage of AI automations implementation, which is the run stage. So we can basically package up all of the processes that we have used in stage two to AIify our own business. And now we can license or franchise that model to other businesses in this niche. So in our car dealership example, we can package everything, all of the AI automations that we have made for this business and then sell it to other businesses. Now, let me explain what I mean by this. So let's suppose that the first car dealership has a very nice human receptionist. Let's call her Mary. The second car dealership can use the exact hiring process that the first car dealership is using and they could get a crappy receptionist for their front desk. So it's not a process that's replicatable, but code is you can take the AI receptionist from the first car dealership and easily transplant it to the second car dealership and you will get the exact results because the code, the underlying technology is the exact same. So now you have a bunch of processes, a bunch of AI agents or AI employees that can easily be replicated and put into another business. And this saves a second car dealership a lot of time because they don't have to go through the trials and tribulations of testing different types of AI automations. They just have a system that works that can plug in right away into their business. And the first car dealership who created this model and all of these AI automations that work for their business, they can charge the second car dealership a franchise or a licensing fee. So let's suppose that the first car dealership charges the second car dealership $10,000 per month. The first car dealership only has to sell 100 of these licenses to start making $1 million per month. That's $12 million per year. And guess what? The best part is that this is recurring revenue. So that means they get paid over and over again. So instead of having revenue that's not predictable, you know, we could be 1 million one month or zero the other. Now 
now this car dealership has predictable revenue because they have a reoccurring payments coming in. And this makes it much more attractive to the investors. Investors generally pay 10x multiple for software companies because they have recurring revenue. That allows these investors to accurately, to a degree, predict what the revenue for the next months are going to be. And the first car dealership now 10x the value of their company because now they also have a software component to it. And instead of being able to sell their business at a two to three X multiple, they can now sell at a 10 X multiple. If they just sell 100 licenses to other car dealership, and there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of car dealerships in the U S alone, they will be making $1 million per month. If they sell it for $10,000 per Per license. Again, that's $12 million per year. And then when they go to sell their car dealership at a 10x multiple, they could sell that business for a hundred million to $120 million. So this is the true impact of AI and automations and why every business in every niche should get started. So again, to recap, the three stages of AI automations implementation are crawl, walk, and run. In the cross stage, you're just training AI to write in your brand's voice and tone. And in the second stage, this is where you AIify your whole business, taking a look at all of the processes and seeing where AI and automations can step in to make your business as lean as possible and to provide a better experience for your customers by having bots that can converse with them 24 seven, 365. And again, check out chat lemon below to get started for free. And lastly, you want to then package all of these AI automations and AI agents up into a package for your niche and start scaling by franchising it or licensing it to other similar businesses in your niche. All right, so I hope you found this video insightful. Now, please make sure you like and subscribe if you got any value out of this training. And lastly, I also have a free AI automations course that you can sign up for below as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Love you all.